guys, we're back. Uh, we're going to show another submission. We just showed you the heel hook from Butterfly Guard. We're going to show a guillotine now. We also showed you two sweeps and we showed you some basic pointers from the butterfly. So when we're done with this, we hope we gave you some good tips that you can use the position uh, during sparring. So let's go right to the guillotine. So we're going to be in Butterfly Guard again. Here. Um, just like we said before, make sure you sit up. So I'm going to be here, and I'm going to be sitting up. Now, especially in uh, gi or no gi competitions, in grappling competitions, the guy is going to be working to pass my guard. Yeah? So he's going to be able to score points when he passes the legs, passes guard. So a lot of times guys will be really enthusiastic and come forward. So that's a good moment for me to pull off the guillotine. So when he puts his head forward, Look, this is really good. I can just push to the side, boom, catch. So on the other side, look, push and catch all the way around the neck. Yeah. If the guy is sitting back more, so he's not really trying to put pressure, I can just cup the head here, like you do with like a wrestling grip, and pull and try to come up a little bit and cup. So I'm going to be here, look, boom, and I'm going to catch. So this is really hard if the guy knows that you're going to do the guillotine, or if he sits up all the way straight, yeah, it's going to be almost impossible to do. But when he's bent a little bit, puts his weight a little bit forward, it's going to be boom. Just guide the head, look, behind the head, guide it, boom, catch. Yeah. So now, make sure your, your biceps is cutting off the artery on this side. Yeah. Don't do this. Because, yeah, maybe you crush his face, it's going to hurt, but it's not, not any good. So, look, around and catch. And preferably under the chin. Now, if the guy has a chin on the chest, it's going to be hard. So, what you can do is just cup and get your hand in. So, look, I'm going to be here, cup the chin, and just slide my hand in. So, look, I have a good grip now. So, the same thing goes here. Look, you can cup. Boom. You can do it right away. So make sure you cup, up, and slide. So you have a good grip here. Now, second most important thing. You see a lot of guys be like, like pulling their, their lights out. And they're going to burn their arms out, but it's not going to work. Yeah, from this position or from the guard position or whatever. So what we're going to show you is we're going to show you an arm of guillotine. So the way Marcel Garcia does it. So I'll show you from the other side so you can see the the arm on this side. So, we're going to be here, we're going to be fighting, so he's coming forward a little bit. Look, boom. I catch the head. I have the grip all the way around. Now, the other hand, look, don't do this. Just grab the hand on top of the back of your hand here. Look, and I'm going to put my right elbow on his shoulder. So try to imagine that you put your right elbow on his spine. If you do this, look, boom. You get the arm up. And it's already on. So if you go here, look, around, grab the hand on top of the other hand. Now, look, go back a little bit because you need a little bit of space here, right? If I'm like this, I can't get it. So I need a little bit of space. Look, now I get the arm up. And now I'm able to pull my arm up here, which is going to get the guillotine. And I'm going to be able to prevent him putting pressure. So look, when I go here and the guy puts a lot of pressure forward on me, that's really hard to finish because he can relieve the pressure from his neck, he has all his weight on my body, it's like almost impossible. And you see guys here, or even like here, and they never get it. So one great way to prevent this is the arm up. So we're going to go here, boom, go around, look, get the grip, get the arm up. Now if he tries to put the pressure, look. I can just block him and finish. So make sure you get the arm up and you're going to be able to pull and push. Now the second question, what if the guy tries to pass? So I'm going to be here and he tries to pass. So here, boom, yeah, he's going to do this. So look, you can always, from the butterfly guard, or always, but it's, it's going to be fairly easy to catch a half guard here. Look, your foot is already there. So when he, get, when he goes, you go on your side, look, you're safe. As soon as you have the hook that you cannot jump to the other side, you're safe. 
So all I need to protect here, if I have the guillotine on the left side, all I need to protect is that he doesn't jump to that side. If he goes that way, look, go that way, yep, yeah. I'm just going to follow, I'm going to get him. If he goes the other way, so look, I'm going to be here, and he goes, yeah, now, now I'm gone. Now I lost it. So I needed this leg to block. So we'll show you one more time with the leg in place, final time. So I'm playing here, cut the head, go under, boom, catch it, catch the hand, get the arm across, look, now, you can go half guard by turning on your shoulder, that's fine, if you can turn on your side a little bit, look, and just catch, you got it. So, try to remember guys, when you do the guillotine, one of the best ways, or one of the ways I like to finish the guillotine, is with the arm up to avoid the pressure. So try it and make sure you don't let the guy pass. Thanks.